All right, pop culture fans, it has been a huge week in the pop culture world, and it's not over yet. Of course, we have to talk about it here on Pop Goes the Weasel. Of course, I've got my friend Rick Rush from WEZL 103.5 The Weasel Look at with you. me. Thank you. That was good. <laughs> That's that was good. really good. You just should say all the words during this segment, and I'll just sit here and smile. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can just clap for me. Yeah. Uh, like a little. She said W-E-C-L. Way to go. Good work. <laughs> um, all right. It has been a crazy week. We had the it Grammys last week, mm -hmm. uh, Super Bowl this week. Yeah. And uh, I mean, we had some really devastating sad news that happened Tuesday morning, late Monday night, and that, of course, the passing of Toby Keith. So sad. And, yeah. and you, you know, while we knew he was sick, it was shocking. Like Bobby Bones said when he was paying tribute to him, we thought that he was getting better. All the, the way that he presented things was he's getting better. And then he had those concerts in December, mm -hmm. and we thought that was the start of something. Yeah. But Bobby said, looking back, I, I really feel like that was him saying goodbye. Mm. So, um, and, and that makes sense because he, uh, the good thing is he, he was close to the Lord. He knew he, he was... He, he'd wrapped up everything in his mind, so mm -hmm. he's in a better place. I watched a video the other day of his last performance, and I got chills just thinking, yeah. like, this is someone that's performed for so long. And, and for then, so many people, and yeah. his impacts in country music, he gave us Taylor Swift. Mm. He's the guy that signed Taylor Swift yeah. back in the early 2000s, um, sold that record label. A big portion of his fortune is Taylor Swift related. Wow. I mean, he's one of the richest guys in country music. A lot of it had to do with selling that record label at the height of Taylor Swift's career in country. A lot of people, I feel like, don't think about that at all. Yeah, no, yeah. he's a great businessman and uh, just so involved in the military, constantly mm -hmm. in other countries supporting our troops. So a lot to be said about Taylor, I mean, uh, Toby Keith. And so. you, you've met him. Yeah, I've met him, I met him a couple of times. Early on yeah. when, when he was uh, starting out, here at Weasel, I, I, back when I dressed as the Weasel, we, you know, we got to hang out with Toby. But this Aww. is the last time I got to spend with Toby. And funny story Red about, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I got to spend about 30 minutes with him on his bus. And he goes, well, hey, man, we need to take a picture with these Red Solo cups. What do you want to drink? And I, I didn't want to tell Toby Keith that I don't drink. <laughs> so um, I said, well, you know, I'm kind of working and uh, I'll just hold up the cup. And he goes, what, well, do you have a problem? And, <laughs> and I said, well, back in my 20s. So the funny <laughs> part of that story is I had to lie to Toby Keith about being an alcoholic yeah. so that I didn't have to drink with Toby Keith. <laughs> you had I to mean, do the I, Red Solo cup, yeah. So I can tell you there's nothing in my cup. I can't say the same for Toby Keith in this picture. What's your favorite? Uh, Toby Keith song? Uh, I, I've gone through uh, different phases as I became a middle-aged man, as good as I once was, probably kind of mm, became my theme song. So good. But I do like This Week. My new favorite Toby Keith song is Don't Let the Old Man In. I don't know if you've heard him perform no. that, but it was a song he wrote about dying. Ugh. And he wrote it a couple of years ago for a Clint Eastwood movie, but it got released to country radio, and uh, and it was the one that he did on the People's Choice Awards. Just just a great song, and, and you can just hear the aging in his voice. It's just, mm -hmm. uh, Toby Keith will be missed. Oh, so sad, yeah. so sad, such a legend. Yeah. Um, what else was happening in country music? Okay, so uh, you know my biological father, Darius Rucker. Uh -huh. um, we, we saw uh, the pictures last week of the mugshot and him being arrested mm -hmm. without a lot of clarification on the story. Well, more came out that that actually happened a year ago, mm -hmm. that he was pulled over for expired tags had um, some drugs in the car that uh, led to a search. They found that. And um, he just had to turn himself in last week, pay mm -hmm. the fine. Everything's moving on. So it wasn't like all this went down last yeah. week. But the most shocking part to me, to this story, is that none of it would have happened had Darius Rucker not had expired tags. How does Darius Rucker have expired tags? Yeah. And I can tell you, <laughs> it's not Darius's job yeah. to go to the DMV. Whoever is in charge <laughs> of Darius's, you know, day-to-day -day stuff mm -hmm. probably no longer has a job. <laughs> the guy that was supposed to update his tags, yeah. that dude doesn't work for Darius anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, Alrighty. moving well, on. Thanks for clearing that up. All right, so Grammys last weekend right yes. here on CBS. 
Um, huge night in music. Taylor Swift announced a new album, which is yes, very yes. exciting and for can us. We just mention, out there. Well, before we get to the Taylor Swift stuff, can we just mention the performance from Luke and, oh, and Tracy yeah. Chapman? A oh, classic. my goodness. Yes, a unbelievable. Classic. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, it, it was a huge night. Laney Wilson won a big award. Uh -huh. There was a lot, um, I, I saw a lot about Kelsey Ballerini's reaction to that. She was like, guys, I wasn't mad that she won the award. Did you see that at all? Uh, I mean, everything I've, I know Kelsey loves Taylor, so. Um, I'm talking about Lainey. Oh, Lainey? Yeah. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't catch that. I guess you're on a different side of social media than I am. Well, I guess so, maybe. <laughs> See, I know some stuff too. Uh -oh. um, so Grammys last week, she Taylor Swift won the 13th Grammy. She's now in Asia performing. Mm -hmm. And then she'll this Sunday. She's gonna fly back to the Super Bowl. To and she's all, and, and she's, I heard this morning, she's just down to one private plane. She just sold one of her private planes. Wow. So poor Taylor having to yeah, just. Yeah, just one. Just, just one plane, good Lord. Yeah, no, better for the environment, I guess. I guess I that, she, got she wants to that. stop, she, she wants to, that's what it said about her carbon yeah. footprint. Yeah. So. All right. So Super Bowl this weekend. Yeah. CBS. Yes. How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling good about it. I mean, I'm not a huge football fan, but everybody's a football fan on Super Bowl exactly. Sunday. Whether you watch for the commercials or you watch uh, for the Super Bowl halftime show or you just so you have uh, the chance to have a conversation with sports people at work on Monday. Yeah. You can throw out some facts. It makes it seem like you know something. Exactly. So that's what I always do. Uh, but this year. I mean, Taylor Swift is being mentioned as much as everybody, everything else that is like involved. I feel like I'm hearing it more. It, yeah. It's, it's like I, I heard, um, I heard Travis Kelsey say on his podcast that it's her rookie season in the NFL, mm -hmm. and she's already at the Super Bowl. Pretty much. Yeah. So. And people are betting that they're going to get married, they're going to get engaged, or something at the Super Bowl, and mm -hmm. I just that cannot happen. I there not is see one that bet where you can you you can bet what color uh, shirt she'll be wearing. And one of the odd colors is at such big odds that if Taylor Swift were to bet, make this bet with a huge amount of money and then wear that shirt, she could make millions of dollars what? on the bet. It's great, these, all of these prop bets that they have. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. It's insane. I just know it's going to be a good one. Reba sing the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Ushers the halftime show. Yep, and then there'll be probably a minute or so of Taylor um, mm -hmm. that will be sh shown throughout the night. Yeah, I'm curious to see what she... I feel like she's gonna have some sort of surprise, but I what don't do you know. think we'll she could do? She's it's People us were watching she could come her out watching a the game. Show. None of I don't that's know. gonna happen. She, yeah. I mean, all of this stuff is just made it's up. It's wild. Stuff. Taylor is dating a dude she loves, and she's going to the game to watch him. Yeah. She doesn't want to make much of herself. She doesn't need yep. more. This is all about her supporting her man. And I why, agree. Why is that not celebrated? That was a good one, Rick. Why I is that like not that. Celebrated? That good. was really good. She doesn't need all this stuff. We need her more than she needs us. Yeah, definitely. All right guys, the Super Bowl this Sunday right here on Live 5. Thanks, Rick. See you.